Hey. So we're gonna do a little video about yard sailing, obviously. Yard sailing and estate sailing. Um, you gotta have your money in order. If you don't have your money, um, you're gonna be, where's, this, where's the camera head? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the money, um, then you're gonna just be stuck. It's it, if you, I don't know. You always want to go to the sale with some money. Without money, it just raises problems for yourself, you know. Um, so I went to the sale and I had to, you know, try to buy some bunch of stuff without any money. Um, nobody ever feels good about that. Oh, hey, can I get a deal on this? Um, yeah, I, I got to go to the bank and get the and get the funds. Um, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't sit well with me at all. Uh, taking a sip. Yeah. Sips for all my subscribers. Thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel. Um, really appreciate it. I'm starting to put some major work into uh, this channel. Um, and within the next couple months, we're gonna it, it's gonna see some pretty big changes. Um, try to get get more live videos of these sales. Um, so I got this stuff here. This big huge sack filled with stuff. Pile of models back there. Um, the models were built, but don't really mean they're not worth anything. So um, possibly not worth anything, but they're still cool for a couple bucks. Um, we got 14 of them for 10, so two bucks a piece. It's a double up. Um, but uh, the you, you need to know. What am I trying to say in this video? Basically, this is a full warrant for when you go out yard sailing, you gotta have your cash. You gotta have cash or else it's just gonna be a hard time negotiating anything. I man I really managed, because these people were nice at my age, I managed to haggle without any money for all the stuff. And then, I, I mean, a hundred dollars worth of stuff at a yard sale and, and haggling. That's pretty good, so the more money you have on you, the easier it is to haggle. Um, you know, some people, they keep the funds in, like, the left pocket, and they keep a 20 in the right. That way, when you go to, or a 10, I think it's a 10 in the right, and the stash in the left, always grab with your right. It's like natural instinct to throw your hand in your right-hand pocket if you're right-handed. And uh, that's the first, um, that's the money you're going to pull out, and they're going to see you only got 20 bucks. Um, sometimes your, your dress attire can dictate what you're going to pay. You're dressed in nice clothes, nice shoes, pull up in a nice fancy car, all clean. Well, you might as well be paying full price right off the bat. They know you got money. Um you just stand less of a chance to um, haggle any deal at all. So we're off to uh, do some fencing. Got to put some fence in at the mother-in-law's house. And uh, we just did that like a drive. I was going to go to the flea market real quick, but I stopped at that yard sale and, and dropped a hundred bucks there. So now I'm like, there's no need to go to the flea market. There's there's not going to be anything great there. Um, yeah, you never know. I mean, there could be something great there, but I, I got some really good stuff. You're going to be, you're going to be pretty impressed with uh, what I got out of this one yard sale. I was pretty impressed with what I got out of this yard sale. Um, there's a condenser mic in here. It's like a hundred dollar condenser mic. Um, there's some uh, pro audio equipment in here. Uh, some uh, fitted flat brim hats, uh, set of Timbaland shoes. Uh, I'm gonna go over it in the video. 
course, we're going to do a video. Um, but it, it's some good stuff. I, I, I really lucked out. I asked him, too. Hey, did anybody come by here yet? Uh, yeah, we sold a couple things, but not really much at all. You're the first big customer we had. That right there tells me that nobody bought anything that I was buying. We got uh, two, two Texas Instrument calculators, um, like 20 pocket um, pocket games, like, you know, uh, slot machines and stuff like that. Um, some other really good stuff, some models. Um, I got a free, a free, uh, luggage case and a free uh, tote, free long tote that's good and uh, some other good stuff, there's a Garmin in there missing some parts but still, you know, parts buggy Garmin so I don't know what I'm trying to get to with this video basically is uh Make sure you have cash. Cash is gonna, cash is king. Cash leaves all leeway. Um, and uh, yeah, keep hunting and picking, man. Um, there's deals out there. I was doing this guy a favor. I, I told him, oh, I'm gonna make a pile. I'm doing you, I'm gonna do you a nice favor today. I'm gonna buy a bunch of stuff off you. And he was more than happy gave me some smoking deals and we're going to be able to resell that for at least triple triple to quadruple of uh, what we paid so should be able to get 500 bucks four or five hundred out of out of everything um, if done properly listed listed correctly and get some good buyers out there then we're going to be just fine um, so yeah i'll go over the stuff in the video and uh we're off to work to dig some dig some holes. I got about seven holes I gotta dig and another 40 feet of fence to close it out and then uh, put some chain link up. Should go pretty good. Hopefully it'll be easy digging for me today because I don't want to I don't want to be slaving today but I might be. We'll see. So enjoy the video. Click like, subscribe. Um, I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if I did a sip for everybody, but to all my subscribers, sipping my coffee for you guys, I really appreciate you guys a lot subscribing to the channel and helping me push it forward in some kind of direction. We'll try to do more live videos and stuff like that so have a good day keep picking peace